The Pixel 8 comes with rounded edges and a comfortable shape. It's smaller than the Pixel 7, which is nice, but it's a bit thicker because of the camera bump on the back. It has a great display called the Actua. It's super bright, even in sunlight, which is a big improvement from the Pixel 7. Everything looks sharp and colorful on its 6.2-inch screen. It's a win for outdoor use and watching HDR content. This device boasts a 50 megapixels main wide camera with advanced image processing. In addition, there's a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera with a wider field of view, allowing you to capture more in your shots. The 10.5 megapixels front camera is perfect for selfies and group photos. What sets the cameras apart are the AI driven features. There are few cool AI tools that analyzes group photos and uses generative AI to pick the best shot. This can be a lifesaver when someone blinks or looks awkward in the photo. You can even tap on faces and choose different poses. They can also manipulate your subjects and the background in creative ways. You can move elements, change the lighting, and even add or remove objects. Overall, this device produces excellent photos. In well-lit conditions, the colors are vivid and the details are sharp. When it comes to low light or indoor shots, the Pixel 8 is pretty good. It provides decent results, and with the help of night mode, you can capture great photos even in challenging lighting situations. The Pixel 8's AI isn't just for photos, it also enhances your videos. The Audio Magic Eraser feature removes background noise, allowing you to focus on what matters in your videos. It's a game changer for content creators or anyone who wants better audio quality in their videos. It comes with the Tensor G3 chip, and that does a bunch of cool things. It makes answering calls more human-like. It can summarize web pages, fix your spelling, and help you with your texts. The battery is 4,575 milliamper. It'll last you around 9 to 10 hours when you're browsing the web. Google promises 7 years of updates for the Pixel 8, which is awesome. Most phones get fewer updates. The Pixel 8 is a pretty solid phone. It looks cool, has a bright display, and its camera can do some cool tricks. It's not the fastest out there, and the battery life could be better. But it's future-proof with lots of updates. If you like a smaller, more affordable phone, this one's a good pick. The iPhone 15 is pretty similar to the iPhone 14, but it has some neat stuff. For example, it has the Dynamic Island, which is this little area on the screen that shows some apps and has the front cameras. It's way cooler than the old notch. Another thing that changed is the glass on the back of the phone. Apple made it so that the color is part of the glass, not just on it. That means it won't get old or dirty as fast. The iPhone 15 also has a USB-C port now. That's awesome because it means one can use one charger for their phone and their laptop. One thing I really like is the new satellite feature. You can call for help from anywhere, even if you don't have cell service. That's super useful if you're in trouble or you're somewhere remote. It has an amazing 6.1-inch screen that makes everything look great. It's not the highest resolution or the fastest refresh rate, but Apple knows how to make colors and brightness look just right. It has a super high contrast ratio that makes blacks really black, and a very bright peak brightness that makes whites really white. HDR is cool, but it's even cooler on the iPhone 15 because it has a screen that can show HDR content like no other. If you're a fan of photography, you'll love the iPhone 15. It has two cameras on the back, one with 48 megapixel and one with 12 megapixel. That can take amazing photos in any situation. The camera quality is superb, and you'll be amazed by the clarity and vibrancy of your shots. The front camera is 12 megapixel, and it can take awesome selfies. And the best part is the portrait mode that makes you look like a star. The A16 Bionic chip in the iPhone 15 is awesome. It has 6 cores in the CPU and 5 cores in the GPU, so it can handle any app or game you throw at it. The battery life is also amazing. It lasts for a long time even with heavy gaming. The iPhone 15 charges pretty fast with a 20-watt power adapter. It takes about half an hour to fill it up. It also works with MagSafe wireless chargers. It still uses USB-C, though, so there's no speed boost from that. 